there everybody and welcome back to the Blossom Crochet channel. In this crochet tutorial I will be showing you how to make this really beautiful but definitely absolutely suitable for a beginner with its skill level and this is a beautiful granny triangle shawl. So as you can see it works up just like this. This is only the beginnings of a project. I will be continuing this until it is large enough to wear. So you can see it's just a one round repeat, so you repeat the same thing over and over again until it is the size that you need it to be. It stays perfectly straight across the top as you can see here and it grows very evenly down into this point. So the yarn I'm using for this particular piece is the King Cole Tropical Beaches DK and this is the colourway Lara Beach and I'm using the recommended 4mm hook size. You can use absolutely any yarn that you like. You can use much finer yarn or you could even use a chunky yarn if you're making a more wintry one. But this is obviously for a summer. So that is why I've gone for this particular yarn in this particular shade. So you're going to be starting with your slip knot on your hook. Just make sure that you leave quite a long tail because you're going to want to really make sure that you sew that in really well to stop your work coming apart especially seeing as this is a garment that is likely to need to go into the wash and things like that. So first off you want to do a chain of four, so yarn over and pull through, it's one, two, three, and four. You're then going to insert your hook into that very first stitch and your slip stitch, so yarn over and pull through both of those loops and that will just give you a centre ring here to work these following stitches into. So you want to chain four and that chain four counts as your first treble crochet and a chain one. So please just remember that I'm working in UK terms so whenever you hear me say treble in the US just remember that these will be your double crochet. So that is your first treble and chain one. We're then going to do a granny cluster and a granny cluster just consists of three trebles all in the same space. So yarn over, insert into that centre ring, yarn over and pull up and you'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, so that's your first treble. I'll show you that one more time, yarn over, back into that centre space, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So that's two trebles, so we want one more. Okay, so we've got a chain four, so we've got treble, chain one, and we've then got a granny cluster, which are three trebles. We're then going to be creating the corner, so the corner is what forms the point of your shawl. So you want to chain two, and then back into that centre circle again that you've been working all of these stitches into, you want to do another granny cluster. So another three trebles, one, two. So we're just mirroring exactly what we've got on the other side. So that's our three trebles. So now we want to make sure that we finish in the exact same way. So you want to chain one and then treble into that center space once more. Okay, so that has formed the start of your shawl. Or you might just be making this for a triangle for something else, bunting or something. So you then want to turn your work, you're going to chain four. Again, that counts as a treble and a chain one. And then into this very first chain one space, so this space just here, you're going to put a granny cluster. So one, two and three trebles. Chain one and we're going to skip over this granny cluster from the row below and that is going to take us into our corner space and into your chain two corner space to create your new corner you will always do a granny cluster chain two to create your new corner space and then back into that same chain two space you'll do another granny cluster. Chain 
chain one, skip across your granny cluster, and then we're going to be working into this space. So this is technically a chain one space here. So you will do granny cluster into that space. One, two, and three. And then again, chain one and a treble back into that same space. Okay, so that is how we're looking at this point. So I've turned, again, you will always start with a chain four and then into that very first chain one space, you'll do a granny cluster. chain one, skip across to your next chain one space just here and granny cluster. Chain one and then you're at your corner space so you'll do granny cluster, chain two, granny cluster all in that chain two space. Chain one and jump to your next space. Do your granny cluster, chain one, and then again in your final chain one space, which is just here, you will do granny cluster, chain one, and a treble back into that same space. Okay, so you can see that your top edge is nice and straight and then you've got your clusters working down to your beautiful point of your triangle. So that is it, you will literally repeat that as many times as you need to until your shawl or your triangle is the size that you need it to be. So I will just do that one more time with you. So turn and chain four, granny cluster into that very first chain one space. Chain one, skip to your chain, next chain one space and granny cluster. Chain one and work that all the way down to your point of your shawl. And then in your chain two space, your granny cluster, chain two, granny cluster. Chain one and then work back up your other side as normal. And then in your final chain one space you will do your granny cluster. chain one and then a treble back in that space and so you'll repeat that now until your project is the size that you want to be and then obviously once you get to the end of your project you can even add a border to give it a little bit of extra detail and um, there are so many borders that you could build onto the end of this project the options are pretty much endless but that is it for this tutorial. I really hope that you have enjoyed it and do always remember to come and find me on Instagram and tag me in anything that you make as well. I really do like to see what, what you make from my videos. But I will see you for another crochet tutorial really, really soon. But thank you as always for watching and bye for now.